So you want to learn how to record sounds and audio in Unreal Engine during runtime or in the editor and I've got exactly what you need to accomplish that. So I have a very simple scene here from my game which is basically a game revolving around sounds and being able to record sounds for different objects and my character is able to select let's say this cube and select the category on the left hand side of which sound to override and when I press R I'm going to start recording and when I'm done recording and press E, I'm going to start recording. You can see that uh, you can hear myself back. And that is basically what we're going to be doing during this video. It's going to be blueprints only, so no C++ or anything complex. And hopefully it will be pretty uh, easy to follow. So I'll just create a new project to do this together. So I have created a new project and added some basic stuff to start with. So I have a sounds folder which is currently empty and we're going to be saving our sounds here and we also have a recording actor which is going to be where our functionality is going to lie here okay so I'm opening up the recording actor and here I basically enable inputs to be able to test our functionality so that is it for the setup you don't need to follow this is just for demonstration purposes but you do need to follow this so you need to create an audio capture component which is basically a component responsible for capturing input from your microphone so whatever you're saying this component is going to be capturing it and allow you to use it in many ways and to record actually whatever is captured from the audio component we are going to need an additional thing and this is called sound submix so sound submix and basically this thing allows you to modify sounds, apply effects and various other stuff with sounds. I'm not really an expert on how this thing works, but I do know that it allows us to record sounds. So back to our recording actor, we need to go to the audio capture and search for bass submix and just select it here. So it needs to be set to our submix. And okay, so we're good to go now. And whenever we, in our example here, whenever we are pressing a key we're going to be start recording and when we are releasing that key we are going to stop the recording and save that file so let's start off by getting the audio capture and start we're calling the start function which will basically enable it to start capturing uh, what you're saying into your mic if you want this to be permanently enabled you can go to auto activate here of the component and tick this and this will basically have the component always capturing whatever you're saying. But I prefer doing it through here. So once we have the audio captured capturing, we also want to call the start record output. And here we have two properties, the expected duration. So how long is your sound going to be? I'm just going to set it to five. It's not really that important, uh, but I'd like to set it to something aside from zero. And also you need to set the submix to your submix. So that is it for this, the pressed. So we are currently recording. So when we're pressing a key, it's going to start recording. And I'm also going to put some debugging here to know where we're at. So start recording. And when we're releasing this key, we're going to first call the stop from the audio capture to stop capturing. Uh, and then call the finish recording output. And basically, this is going to be generating a file we, containing the whatever you have set from the start recording output to the finish recording output. So from the moment you've pressed the key, in our example, up until the point you released it. And whatever has been set during that period is going to be uh, here. So it's going to be generating a file. And that file can be of two types. So we have sound wave and WAV file. So this is going to be the export types. And I prefer the WAV file due to the fact that it is saved on your disk. So it's going to be saved onto your computer, unlike the sound wave, where it's a temporary file within Unreal Engine. So the WAV file is more accessible. It can be easily accessed in a packaged game, unlike the sound wave, where I haven't found a good way to utilize it. So I'm going to be using a WAV file and this is going to be the export. I'm going to give this a name of, let's say, sound object or whatever. 
and I'm going to give this a path and if you were to hover over the return type of this blueprint, you'll see that it allows you to use rel relative or absolute values for the path. But from my testing, I realized that this is not the case. So I'm going to be finding the path that I have set. And this is an absolute path to the sound folder that I've shown before. And this is going to save this here. And you also need to click this arrow and set the submix to uh, your submix in order for this to work. And finally, I'm going to, again, put some debug messages here. So stop recording. And that is it. So whenever we're pressing a key, we're going to be starting the record. And when we're releasing that key, we're going to be uh, saving a file from what we have recorded into our folder here. So I'm going to compile this, make sure that this works. Hopefully I haven't forgotten anything. So if I were to run this, the moment I press a button, we're going to be hearing myself twice. So I'm going to be able to hear myself and it's going to be a little weird. So pressing a button, testing, 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 testing one, one, two. As you can see, I'm able to hear myself and that is due to the submix not being set up properly. But before we fix that, I'm going to go to the folder here and see that uh, as you can see, we have this sound object that has been created. Testing, testing, one, two. And you can hear uh, what I've said to the recording. So that is great. And you can actually use this outside of the engine. This is a normal WAV file, as you can see. So a, a standard file for sound, basically, if you're not sure what a WAV file is. So you can use this in whatever way you want. You can actually use this only in an editor, only in a package version, it doesn't matter. This is perfectly usable as you like. And now the reason behind being able to hear ourselves is for, well, the output here, where what we're saying is going here. And the way I found that fixes this is a bit tricky and kind of not the previous solution, but we are going to go onto the sound submix and drag the output to create a new submix. So I'm creating this new submix and putting the output of this input into the input of this new submix. And when within the new submix that we have created, I'm going to be setting the output volume to zero and the wet level also to zero. And this will basically mute the output of the submix and we won't be able to hear it, but the recording will still work. So if I were to go back to my level and hopefully this will work. Sometimes it requ requires a restart to actually work, but I'm hoping it will work first time. So I'm going to click and now I'm not, re I'm recording, but I'm not hearing myself, which is great. So now that we have created a recording system that is able to produce WAV files and sound files in our game, we need a way for us to actually be able to retrieve them and use them in our game. So in order to do that, we need to first create a media player which, which will allow us to actually use these files in our game. And, okay, so I'm going to save that and go into my actor. So in my actor, I'm going to create a new media sound, which is a component that utilizes the, uh, wait, the media player that we've just created. So there it is, you need to uh, set the property and we're going to be using this media player to actually play the sound. I slightly modified my blueprint here so I'm able to use one to record the sounds and two to play the sounds back. And in order for us to use this uh, media sound and media player, we need to get the media sound, media player, not the set, the get, the get media player. And we're going to be using a function called open URL. So it sounds like a weird name because we are not intending to use URLs here, but there is a trick that we can use to apply the open URL in our case. So we're going to be using the address that we have uh, our sound stored. So we have created this sound object at this path uh, and it's of the file WAV. We're going to be basically recreating this address and putting the file uh, double dots and two brackets at the start, which will indicate basically that this is a URL. Thus, we're able to use this in the open URL function of the media player. So 
we, I'm using the append uh, function for, for strings to actually create this and there is obviously a prettier way to do this but I feel this is good enough for demonstration so putting this in front of the address that you have indicates that this is a URL and it's going to be using this as a local URL and playing the sound so if I were to put this here uh, and go back and have a test for this so if I press 1 I am recording I press 2 I am recording so as you can see <laughs> it's uh, playing back the sound as we would expect so we can you can do various stuff with this and it's a pretty nice trick to know with the open URL because uh, it's very easy to use unlike other methods that I found online and one thing that I usually like to do when using the open URL is use the can open or or URL can play URL there it is which will, will basically ensure that this is a usable URL and not mess with anything so in case this is a usable URL we can open the URL if not we'll do something else so that is also one function to know about so basically this is how you can create your own recording system in uh, Unreal and use the WAV file that you produce in your game and this also works in a packaged game which is fantastic and considering that this is blueprints only it's an amazing find so hopefully you found this video useful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe on the channel thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next time goodbye